Good morning. Um, doing a four, 11 by 14, arches, 140 pound <coughs> cold press. Today, um, I have nothing really in mind except for a while ago, I, I did a sketch of something that I liked, and I thought maybe I'd just <coughs> try a little bit today. Um, I might want to go off like this. Just like that. Maybe even up here like this. Maybe it's a little darker down here. It was just a bunch of rolling, kind of rolling hills in the distance. distant hills in the back and so you don't you gotta keep your colors this is a green but it's really too bright a green so I'll add some blue to it and this hill goes like that down here like this and I'm back over near there's some of that green. I have, I have a little sketch here I did a long time ago. And uh, it's a simple little sketch. And I thought, today I don't feel too much. Some days you just don't feel too much like pain. And today is one of those days. I don't know why. It's cloudy again, I guess that. Why can't it stay through skies all the time? Now this next color is going to be a little darker. It's almost a purple. And I'm going to add water to it. There's a hill that comes up here like this. Maybe a little bit of that back in there. Water with this. It's kind of like that. I'm going to use a little ultramarine blue right here. Yeah, this, this comes down like this. See, like that. Across there. Just a lot of, of different colors. It's a little bit different way of painting. Adding colors together, I'm putting that. That's ultramarine blue. This is really dark, but that's all right. Uh, put some light over in here. Like that. Now I'm gonna kind of hit it with water a little bit, just to you know, like I always do. Give it shapes. Just plain water right there. Okay. I'm going to go over like this a little bit. It kind of gives it a different look. Um, I'm going to bring a kind of a gold down in here. That's really gold. And it comes up in here like this. Maybe a little bit of uh, orange coming down here like this. But up here in the, on this other, other corner, well, before I just tell you, I'm putting some of that orange up in there. Touch of it back in there. Bringing my colors sort of different together. It's just, it's fun. 
want to play around with it. See what it does. I feel like this. Comes down like this. And, uh, see what I can get some color I want. And there's a little bit of a hill right there. All I got a different color, isn't it? And so I'm going to have to put a little bit up in here. And maybe a little bit. Right in there. See how this is running down. It turns the other way. Might be a good idea to work on it this way for a minute. Put a little more blue right in here. all my colors today. See, like yesterday, I lost a lot of my colors and that didn't make me very happy. Sometimes, you know, when you're painting a video, it's so different than, than just sitting and painting, you know. This way, this kind of hill. It's different. You gotta admit it's different. And sometimes, you, you know, you just do what you feel like doing. And if you don't come out, so there you go. Put a little of this color up in here, like that. That goes down there. And it isn't. There were so many hills that I had painted in a distance, in different shapes, like this, different shapes in here. You pick up some of the colors and put them other places. Okay, and this. <clears throat> and here, I uh, still wet. I'm going to kind of put a little bit of sky in here. See, like that. In here. Like this. Maybe some coming down this way. And some just going up this way. And you take like that. Some way in the back over there. See? I'm going to use my dry brush. Come in here. Kind of make this a little lighter. In here. Like that. Come down into there. I like what this is doing here. It kind of helps me out a little bit where I'm planning on doing. Right in here, making this a real dark area. Oh, it's like that. It's just a dark area. 
maybe I'll put a touch in right there. Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe. See this? It goes up that way. I'm putting water this way. Sometimes, you know, you can really get nice texture. You can get it to look better than if you're just doing it straight on and down. I, um, I don't like that right there because it goes down more like this. Like this. And then I'll bring in a little bit of they come down like this more. Maybe there's several layers of, of different. And uh, I'm going to be bringing in some um, trees right in here. It's going to start up there. It's going to come right down here like this. That's the first tree, and then there's another one. It's not quite as tall, and it's going to be... So like that. Down in here, there's going to be a few little trees growing. to use this modern brush, probably. Back in here, there might be a, a little bit of trees back in there, coming down here, like that. See, this is supposed to come down like that. Maybe like this, like that. One will be a little higher. Not quite the color I wanted, but... And maybe some of these will be bigger down here, taller, see? Be grass down in here. And then. Okay, now the only thing I want to do is take. I think I'm, I can get this. I like these tops better. And maybe I. Oh, way over there. Can you? See that way? If I can get closer. Maybe there's a smaller one right in here too. You know, just a group of trees in here. Pine trees. Maybe some of these will be a little taller to bounce off that. Maybe just a line of little trees up in there. There could be just some, some darker ones right in there. One of the uh, 
Everything's going this way to this. So hills and shapes in here. I can't. I like that right there. That worked out pretty good. I didn't do better, but my Bible verse today is in First John uh, one five. Walking in the light. This is then. This then is a message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have filled fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses from all sins. Isn't that wonderful? If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that beautiful? All we have to do is confess our sins to Jesus. He's the light of the world, you know. He is not in dark there's no darkness in him. He is a holy God. No sin in, can enter his eyes. So he sent his son down to die on the cross because somebody had to die for our sins. And Jesus was sinless. So he died on that cross, but he didn't stay there. He rose again in three days, and he rose and he's alive today. He's the light of the world, and he will forgive us our sins. If we love him, we'll walk in the light. But if we are not walking in the light, we're walking in darkness. Today, I just kind of wanted to bring a little bit of a feeling I had about God. Maybe you can't see it in that painting, but to me, uh, every time I paint something, it's for Him. It's to tell you that God loves you so much, you can't imagine how much He loves you. You know, I made a video of what happened to me several years ago. I fell and I had a big bump on my head. I went to the hospital and I had to have an operation. And all of a sudden I was in the dark and darkness, real dark. And I said, where am I? And I looked up and there was a door with a dim light. And beside that door stood a beautiful figure of a man. And he was in the shadows. And I said, are you God? And he said, yes. And then he disappeared. And then I felt somebody touch my hand. And I said, are you Jesus? And he said, yes. I want to ask you something. I said, what? Do you want to go back to that earth with all the sin you're in? Or in a sin, all the pain I'm in? I didn't say nothing. Then he said, my child, do you want to go back to that place where there's so much hatred, so much sin? People are walking in darkness, not looking for the light. And I thought, I thought, Jesus, you came down to this earth. And look what happened to you. They put you on a cross, killed you for all of our sins. You died for us. Now you died for me, and I want to go live for you. And he said to me, my child, are you sure you want to do this? And I said, yes. So here I am back. I'm sort of a miracle. And he gives me the strength each day. He healed me fast. He gives me the strength each day. I'm 98 years old, and I can paint every day. I can paint and make a video. I've been, I do the 
whole thing myself. I set the camera up and uh, I put it on my computer and I edit it and I make a video and put it on YouTube. And that's, it takes a day, but I have the strength to do it. God gives it to me. I hope today that you know him and the great love that he has for you. Just think about it today. As you go about your work, uh, anything you do, think about him. He, he made you, you know, and he loves you. He just wants your love. So I guess that's enough of my talk. But um, as you look, as I look at that, I've got to work on those pine trees a little better. And maybe a little better on the mouth. It didn't come out exactly as I want it. But you know, when we look at this world and beauty that God made, I always want to paint all the time. And I, I'm not always satisfied with my paintings, but I hope you enjoy the demonstration and how simple you can, it can be. And I didn't lose all my colors. So I thank you today for watching me. And uh, I am going to work on those trees. But, but I'm going to put a mat. I'll, I'll put a mat on first. I put it in a mat. And uh, I'm taking my small brush and uh, trying to make these trees a little more brown. It's hard to do with my arm like this, but I wanted to make them look a little bit more like pine trees. Maybe you've got one right there. Right there. It was just a small one. Maybe there's another one there. See a group of trees. Maybe over here there's some that don't have much on them. There. Now here I see I kind of want to make some bigger and uh, a little bit taller with more shape, like this goes better with that, maybe one right here. See, there you go. These could be little trees right here. Maybe there's some in here. These little trees, see. So, that's my lesson for today. I'm sorry the colors didn't get more colorful, but uh, I'm not going to fuss with it anymore. I'm going to just try to uh, do a close-up now, if I can. You have to have patience. There you go. See. I'll bring it back. It's just a simple little easy to do painting and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.